Aloha everybody, Pastor Mark, and we are uh, on an inflatable today here in beautiful Dana Point Harbor, a little overcast and preparing for uh, 4th of July. This is July 1st, so happy July to everybody. We'll head out to the channel here with the uh, mighty nine foot inflatable and uh, electric trolling motor from Amazon. Uh, glad to have you aboard. And as uh, we welcome you to July, we had the privilege of having a little harbor talk with our church family just a couple of hours ago here up on shore. And uh, we'll head out and see if we see any sea lions who are not barking currently. Uh, and I wanted to share with you as we're uh, trolling the harbor, I wanted to share with you one of the uh, verses that we looked at today. We check traffic here. It's a beautiful day here. Hey, come to Dana Point Harbor, but not this weekend. It'll be chaotic and uh, crazy. Matter of fact, they tell you if you don't get out on the island before, uh, well, rather early, you're not gonna make it and uh, you better plan on staying pretty late as well. So maybe you'll see some of the nice ships behind me and uh, keep an eye on the kayaks up there so I don't bump into, oh, you know what? Let's just turn around. We'll head down towards Baby Beach instead. I'm gonna kick it up a couple knots. Cut across the channel. Five full speeds, remember, baby. As of the current moment, I am ahead of the stand-up paddlers, so we should be good. So this great verse out of Isaiah is a verse that we looked at. It's in Isaiah verse 41, and it's verse 10. It happens to be my friend Fred Fucher's favorite verse. Found that out today. Also tell me if anyone's jumping off the bridge. You're not supposed to, but you know how that goes. Especially on July 4th weekend. Here's the verse. Fear not, for I am with you. Which is very comforting to me right now. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. Listen to the second part here. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. That's from God. He's speaking to Israel in the context of Isaiah, but that's from our God. I want to read it to you again, just as I pass the bridge. Hello. And here we go. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I love that. There's a reason that we don't have to be dismayed. It's because we have God. He is our God. And then he says three things that we were kind of driving home in our study up on the lawn in our harbor talk. I, here's his promises. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. And I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Did you know God was right-handed? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he is right-handed and it's a righteous hand and it is powerful. So when God tells us he will do those three things that he will strengthen us, he will help us and he will uphold us. And it's because he's capable and able to do it. Today, as I'm talking to you and this is my second time out on the little inflatable, getting ready for my granddaughters uh, to try it. So I thought I would test it. But I put a certain amount of trust in this inflatable. I filled it with air. I've checked the valves. I've cranked down the valves because once I saw it leaking out, but I'm gonna back this off so we can maybe hear a little better. But as I did all that, there was a certain point when I stepped off the swim step of the boat and I got in as I'm doing now. I hooked up the little outboard and I put my trust in this boat. I put my body in this boat and it's floating and it's moving. And that's what it's designed to be. I wouldn't just hop into any boat. Certainly wouldn't just hop into any inflatable. As a matter of fact, we're passing some now. Some are brand new. Some have much more powerful engines, but some are filled with water and 
half afloat, you might say. It's really the condition of your trust that matters. He says, you can trust me because I'm your God. And I operate and I maneuver with my mighty, righteous right hand. I absolutely am thrilled when I read that verse. I know why it's Fred's favorite verse. He's memorized it. It's a good verse to memorize, by the way. The righteous, mighty right hand of God strengthens and it helps and it upholds us. And of all times that I could need the right hand of God, it would be in these days that we live in. I love the fact that God wants to extend his hand to us. We closed our time of study and talk and we shared some pizza on the grass over just over the bridge there. And uh, when we closed, we all put out our right hands and we made a fist, 15 of us. And as we did, we came to the conclusion that there were some big hands in that circle, but none were as big and mighty and as righteous as God's. How comforting that is. I was just reviewing some of the day's events before I got aboard and started filming. And uh, there are things that are happening in Seattle today and little wind shifting in the political climate again. None of that moves the righteous hand of God, but our prayers do. Nothing prevents the righteous hand of God. So if you're in need of a little assistance today, I would suggest that you climb aboard the God boat, if I could say it that way. And as you do, rest assured that God is strong enough, available and capable. Tell me if they're coming. I don't know if my body is blocking them. They're turning around in the middle of the channel. I'm going to turn over here so I don't want another kind of illustration at, at this moment here to share with you. Boys, what are you doing? I'm going to go down the middle here. Um, he's available, he's strong enough, but he desires to. I will uphold you. That's a thought of mine right now. If I tip over, I've got a life preserver here, but I'd like to be upheld. God upholds us when we tip, when we slip, when we fall, when someone else tips us over. God upholds us and is available to do that. So it was a great comforting verse from the prophet Isaiah to Israel. It's a great comforting verse for you and I. And it's a great reminder that we're not alone in this battle. God is with us all the time hope that this week is going well for you as we approach and celebrate the independence of our country. She's been through a little tug and war over the last couple of months, but uh, she is standing strong. God has indeed shed his grace on her, and I hope that's the part that you celebrate. Whether you are able to do that in a crowd or you're able to do that alone, on this 4th of July weekend. I hope that you realize the grace and the mercy and all that God has given to us as a country, but certainly as individuals. And as you celebrate, make sure that you take time to thank the Lord and make sure you appeal to him and to his mighty right hand as you celebrate, as you give thanks. And I'll be praying the same. Hmm. Can I read it again? Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Tremendous promise. Well, looks like we've made it over near Baby Beach, so I'm just going to move to the side a little bit and let you take a look at oh it's actually not too crowded today if you're going to come to dana point this would be a good day a good day afternoon there's baby beach in the background if you can see it and uh if you know dana point harbor 
Beautiful place to hang out. There's a little fishing pier. I think lining up in the camera view now. We lost one of our old uh, sailing ships, the Pilgrim. But the Dana Pride is still there. And that's the Ocean Institute in the background. Your Pastor Mark tour of Southern California. I'll do one quick circle here while we look at Baby Beach once again. And then one of my favorite places on the end of the uh, harbor here is the Dana Point Yacht Club. It's going to come into view when I kick us around here. Not crowded at all. That's pretty nice. Kids Sailing Club. And there's the Dana Point Yacht Club coming into the background there. We'll ship across to the sail. We'll motor across to it. There it's in view. So by the mighty righteous hand of God, we have great confidence. We're blessed as a nation, we're blessed as individuals. I hope you're blessed to ride along with me on this beautiful day. I'm giving the um, I'm giving the little inflatable the thumbs up. I think it's seaworthy. I'll put my uh, granddaughters aboard here in the next couple days and we'll enjoy our celebration uh, all together on this wonderful 4th of July weekend weekend. It's Pastor Mark signing off. God bless you. Wishing you a very happy 4th of July weekend. Aloha.